What's happening inside of yourself is that there is a blockage blocking the free flow of emotion. So if we look at how a child processes emotion, and this is one of the subjects we want to talk about, how we can learn from children. One way the child processes emotion is that there is a series, it, it just involves itself in its life, right? Just runs around, usually totally out of control, we think of as, as adults, which is how we need to be really. We run around doing all these different things, and what happens is some event, the law of attraction event, triggers an emotion, triggers something happening to the child. So what the child then does is what? What does it do? It just goes straight into the emotion, doesn't it? It doesn't think about it, it doesn't have to decide what the emotion's about, and a lot of times it doesn't even know what the emotion is. All it just is like, so if it gets treated, somebody comes along, bops it in the nose, generally it'll either go into a rage-based emotion or just fall down on the floor and have a big cry, right? One of those two emotions. It, it just experiences it there and then. Now that being the case, if that doesn't happen inside of myself, it can only be because of a block. So sometimes when we feel stuck, what we need to do is start asking ourselves questions about blocks. What is the block? What is the fear that I have about emotion? One of the fears in your question was already mentioned. You have a fear of control or being out of control, in fact. That's one of the fears. You're afraid that if you do feel your causal emotion to its core, that you'll be out of control. And that's a very, very big block to allowing the emotion to flow. So rather than addressing the, the emotion, do you follow me? Allow yourself to actually pray about and ponder about the blockage, which is the desire to control, the desire to control the process. Ask yourself questions like, why do I want to control the process? What's going to happen to me? What am I afraid of if I don't control this process? Does that make sense? Ask yourself those questions. I often thought it could be, like, I don't know if anyone else has this, but just from past spiritual practices and having a way of, I don't know if everyone, if anyone's got into becoming consciousness and not really, you know, just sort of merging with life and being in this blissful state. I've, I've got this fear that because I've found that way of being, yep. that I will never be able to be real again. And, you know, and it's just me and my fear talking like that. Yes. And this is where you need to go. You need to talk about this, write about it. I'm afraid of it now. And yep. I'm, I, I keep jumping back into the head. But yep. like, you know, how do I get to the next step? So, so acknowledge your fears now. So you actually allow yourself to feel your fear that it's never going to be how you thought it would be. You know, allow yourself to feel your fear about how you, you've got yourself into this sort of quasi, um, what would you call it, at one with the universe state, but it doesn't feel good inside. And allow yourself to feel your fear about, you know, what it's going to really feel like when you do it for real. You know, allow yourself to feel your fears about all those things. See, a, a child rarely has blockages. So, if we, and this is, a, this is why looking at children to deal with emotions is really good. Like, you know, example, little Jeremy coming in here, right? He's happy being down the front here, cutting up his paper and everything. Every one of you seeing him walk past, walk past, walk past. He doesn't care, does he? he doesn't, he's not worried about, oh, what are they going to think of me now? You know, oh, they must think I'm stupid. Uh, you know, and none of those thoughts go through his mind, do they? Like, he's just, going, he's just going through here, out, through, out. We can learn a lot from that. See, what we do is we add a heap of suppression on top of that. So what we're now thinking is, oh, I can't do what Jeremy's doing because, you know, I'll get in trouble or I'll get this or I'll get that. You know, I'll get projection from people or people won't like me anymore. Or we get all of those. And that are what I call the blockages. And the hardest part of this part that I'm explaining to you is the blockages. It's a terrible, terrible, torturous road of working through blockages. Once you release the blockages, you'll find the emotion will just pop up. You'll just be walking along in a day, you know, having a normal interaction, and all of a sudden, bam, you're in the emotion. And you say, wow, where did that come from? That'll happen quite often, the more blockages you release. So one of the blockages you've got is this blockage of control, wanting to keep everything in control. Another blockage is this, is this blockage of spirituality, 
what appears spiritual and what isn't, and things like that, you know. There's, so you've already mentioned quite a number of your blockages in our little discussion. Allow yourself to note them down and pray about them now. Allow yourself to feel them and where they came from. And when you release these blockages, and some of them will be released emotionally, once you release the blockages, what's underneath the block will automatically just flow out of you. And you won't have to access it. It'll just come like a child. <laughs>